Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will be talking about how to make your Android phone work seamlessly with your Mac machine that will be including MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac. So in this video we will teach you how to say every time you take a picture with your Android phone or take a video with it, how to automatically update your iPhoto library with the pictures that you have taken with your Android phone. So. For this, you're going to need a Dropbox account. And I assume that uh, you already have your Dropbox account set up with your phone so that it up, uh, every time you take a picture or a video, it automatically saves your pictures and the video into the Dropbox folder of your phone so that it will update you in your Dropbox account on your computer. So, for my case, uh, my Dropbox accounts are already synced up. So, every time I take a picture, all the pictures uh, goes to camera uploads uh, folder on my computer so these are all the pictures that I've taken using my uh, Android phones so I actually I have like two or three phones that are synced uh, using the same Dropbox folder now uh, every time I open my iPhoto so say if I want the pictures to be automatically added to the iPhoto library it's not gonna happen so what I have to do normally is to go to iPhoto or uh, go to file and go to import library and say if I have a Dropbox folder here right there go to camera uploads and then you have to manually import all the pictures or all the pictures that you have just added to your iPhoto library but the process I'm gonna show you would uh, let you import all the pictures without you doing anything so every time there is a picture in the Dropbox that is being added to a folder in a Dropbox it will be automatically added to your iPhoto library so this is how you do it so right now you can see I don't have any pictures on my iPhoto library none at all so you don't need to have all the pictures deleted or anything I just don't, uh, it's a MacBook Air, so I don't have much much space on my MacBook Air, so that's why I don't have any pictures on iPhoto. But for this purpose, I'm going to show you how to uh, put all the pictures into the iPhoto library. So for this purpose, go to your Spotlight and type Automator. Yes. So you see the Automator in the copy just click on that and on this uh, go ahead and select folder action select choose and on the search type iPhoto so on the list of uh, all the options just go ahead and select uh, import files into the iPhoto drag it over here and now it gives you an option to uh, says folder action receives files and folders added to so this would be your source folder in my case this is the Dropbox folder where I my libraries from my phones say all the photos and pictures are being uploaded so in this case my library is camera uploads so now I choose that folder from there so go to your Dropbox and your might be something else so your might be just be camera pictures or whatever for me it is camera uploads this is the folder that uh, receives all the pictures that I have taken with your my Android phone so select that and it will give you an option where you to import all these pictures so you can do either do new album or existing album and you have all these options where do you want to put it I'll just select the events and then run it. Just do OK. So right now, uh, so right now uh, it's done. So just go ahead and close it, and you have to save it in my bed. So just save it as say iPhoto update
and now I'm gonna take a picture of uh, my alarm clock with this my Android phone and see how it works so okay. just took a picture it's probably gonna take a a minute or so to actually be updated in my Dropbox folder right here you're gonna see it's syncing and now so this picture was added into the Dropbox folder now every now you open your if you open your iPhoto it's already there so that's the picture I just took so I'm gonna take another picture and see if it works fine so I'm just gonna take a picture of a, a newspaper stuff. So I just took a picture of a newspaper and just wait for it to sink. You should be seeing it sinking right here so it's sinking right now so once it's been added there it's gonna show up in your iPhoto so I didn't have to manually input all of these pictures so that makes your life a lot easier since you don't have to manually import them so if you like the video please subscribe and thank you for watching